Well, <coughs> hello, greetings. It's your old mate, Dave Spencer, back with you once again. And on this July afternoon, Monday, um, it's uh, it's quite sunny here in Bedford, sort of clouds floating across occasionally, slightly challenging uh, conditions for filming, but uh, did we ever let that beat us anyway? It's great to be here, and uh, what are we going to see in Bedford? Yes, we shall see what we shall see, of course. So we're not far away from the uh, um, bus station now. I've sort of travelled down roads I'm not that familiar with. Uh, it said bus station right by the car park, but it's actually quite a long way away. I, I'm quite adept at losing the car parks. Anyway, let's crack on and I'll either have a chat with you as we uh, go along or at the end, one or the other. I saw a smashing place on an ice cream Sunday just down the road, so uh, perhaps I might call by that. It's getting a bit warm actually if you don't pull over. Still, it's with me now, very windy. Apologies for any wind noise. Can't be helped. See you all later. The only trouble with this uh, area is like in many bus stations around Britain, it's uh, been adopted by all those who have problems or challenged by various things, whether it be uh, health or alcohol, drugs or uh, whatever, homelessness I suppose. Seems to be revving up a bit. Perhaps the uh, majority of the uh, lunchtime lull is over and uh, we're getting into business again. I wasn't sure where that one was going, so uh, I didn't manage to steal from him. Perhaps we'll get another go, who knows. Still watching out for the uh, decker with the new stagecoach delivery. The fleet's here, still very much in the uh, former, former one. I wouldn't be surprised if we found some strikers back in the depot. The land stagecoach forgot.
some of the buses. <laughs> now I had a go at me, the old... Uh, now I'm ensured that I'm not in your picture brigade. I've had them all today. What a nightmare. Joe, you know, this has been my worst day for aggravation in the ages. Do you know, I gradually wrap Bedford up in a ball and bung it in the bin. I will be hard pushed to come to this dump again anyway in my life. I'm going to put it with Loughborough. And that is saying something. Loughborough and Oban. I can name a few others as well. Why on earth do we have these awful people? Where do they come from? Right, well, those two women it sounded as though they came from Tunbridge Wells. So that would explain it, of course. Well, will this be the last visit of PMP to Bedford? We have got an array of places that we uh, now boycott on the grounds that are just too dangerous to go to and they're just not worth the hassle.
hello, good afternoon and it's your old mate Dave Spencer back with you again and yes we're still in Bedford but uh, yes I've had my fill of it, <laughs> more than my fill of it. I should be glad to shake the dirt of Bedford off my shoes, or sandals actually. Uh, it's been great having you along with us, that's always a rather reassuring that we're here in numbers even though they don't know it. And. Uh, We've only got a couple of weeks till we see the back of this corona pandemic malarkey and if Britain at least, whether we're actually beginning abroad is another thing. Anyway, we'll continue our coverage of the UK and as it opens up to uh, the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland again, we'll be off over there. And uh, before you know it, we'll be covering all those old favorites around the world for you. Meantime, I'm busy scanning more cine film for archive productions on uh, media transferred to high definition to make for better viewing. Even got plans afoot to uh, upgrade the old cine or the old uh, video film into sort of high grade HD, 60 frames per second, etc. Using artificial intelligence, you see. <laughs> Mine's just not enough to cope with it. Anyway, well, whatever hassle we've had here in Bedford, it's time to say bye for now. And uh, I'm going to go down and see if I can find that ice cream shop and uh, get myself a nice uh, sundae. You take care. I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.